chapter. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own? Or have others told you about me? Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The Gospel of the Lord. to demons, illness, and 
even on occasion death. That isn't the kind of power most people were looking for. They wanted the glory and kingship that was described by Daniel. They want to see all peoples, nations, and languages serving the Messiah as Daniel said they should. But what they got instead was one who would serve others, not be served by them. Someone who would exercise his dominion over the otherworldly demons and sicknesses in order to help those less fortunate. Who would use his dominion over the elements to feed thousands who came to hear him, to calm storms that frightened and threatened his followers, and even to turn water into wine that people might continue to celebrate. He would also use his authority to confront the leaders of this world who were not serving their people as they should. It was this latter behavior, along with the popularity that Jesus had with the common people, that ultimately landed Jesus in front of Herod and Pilate at the instigation of the Jewish leaders. The religious leaders feared that Jesus would take over their power and position as religious leaders, when what Jesus really wanted was for them to put the welfare of the people above their own rules and power plays. Pilate and Herod also had much to lose if Jesus' popularity grew too much. They feared an uprising, little understanding that Jesus did not come to overthrow worldly leaders, but to overthrow sin and death. And so in order to get Jesus out of the way, the religious leaders take him to Pilate, saying that he has claimed to be king of the Jews, knowing that Pilate would be threatened by anyone who might be in a position of authority over Pilate's territory. And Pilate takes the bait, but Jesus does not. He refuses to either confirm or deny Pilate's fears, knowing that it is not Pilate who is behind these events. But Jesus does acknowledge a kingdom, but not one of this world. Though in Daniel we learn that Jesus has been given dominion over the world, his power and authority, his kingdom, are not from this world. As we look ahead in a mere 30 days to remembering Jesus' birth as a vulnerable child in a humble manger and cattle stall, we hear today directly from Jesus that, For this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. And the truth in this case is that true power, true authority, and true kingship do not come from human hands, from human powers and authorities, but rather it comes from a loving and gracious God. A true king cares not for the power and glory of this world, but for the well-being of those in his kingdom. And so our loving and gracious God sent his son to this earth to be its rightful king, one who would serve all of creation and save it for our sakes. Amen. I invite you to stand as you are able for our hymn of the day, number 260. 